Hey everyone, this is the Psychic Sleuth, and I'm going to be doing the reading today on Susan Powell. I do think that she's been coming through most of the readings, especially Mackenzie. Um, so I believe she's come through a while now, maybe even as far back as Sam. Um, so remember things can be past, present, and future. Not all of this may fit her. Um, I do feel in this case, mostly it does, but it may not all fit her because we do know that cases interconnect and I do get information from other cases, um, so past, present, and future. Uh, this case, I believe, is going to take some work because the husband is blocking a bit. Um, he's evil. He's just, that's just what he's doing, his energy or whatever, so um, I know what I can do to help him. I'm going to try to hold him back uh, the more readings that I do. To, it might just take a little bit to get through and to get more information. So we're going to do what we can on this. So um, got getting some abuse, her being hit, I think maybe even choked a couple times. I don't think this was uh, something that just happened, but it was coming for a while because I see abuse, emotional and physical form. It's a total asshole to her. And um, now I don't know anything about the case but I do there were two things that were coming in there was fire and lots of blood so in regards to the house I saw a fire explosion fire and then like I said fire and then explosion and then I see blood splatter I get a reference to two two kids they're blondish and close in age um, young at this time uh, one of them has kind of wavyish hair the month of October I'm sure a wedding ring so I don't know if that's just to signify that the husband did it or, or it's symbolic or she has a one with her or something like that uh, I hear toddler, so I don't know if this happened when they were, or it was around the time, or something happened when they were that age. I see her being loaded into a trunk, then she's wrapped in a dark blanket. I see just thrown in the trunk like no biggie, trash. I feel like he's kind of lost it, um, but already had psychopathic tendencies that were hidden for a while, but started to make himself known. Uh, like in the beginning, she shows me a wedding, her looking stunning, a white dress, him in a suit. Uh, they're smiling and laughing and she says I don't know what happened we used to be happy now I think he it was all an act a lie our marriage was built marriage was built on false hope false ideas I don't know if there was an affair at one time but I see another woman with brown hair now she's taking me on a windyish road up the mountains going up now I see the dark crystal again which did come in in Mackenzie it came back in Sam um, I think it's symbolic of a mine but it also could be because there's an area called crystal this has also come through a lot um, I'm wondering too about Farmington because I was drawn to that in, in Susan, I mean in Jennifer, and so I'm wondering if there's an interconnect there, um, that it's going to fit both places, and there are some similar, similar circumstances. Um, also hear the word, a mind, I hear mine shaft, hear word hidden, a place he knows, one he's familiar with, I don't know, um, at this time, you know, got validated later, but I didn't know if he was alive, I got a reference to suicide, so I was guessing he's not the coward. Um, there's a reference to gun at some point. I see it to his head, maybe symbolic as he used it on her or him, or he pulled his own trigger, sort of symbolic in that way. Things can be symbolic if you guys don't know how I work as well. Um, I hear the word lake. I see waterfall. I hear the word Davis in 67. I hear the song, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I hear the word buttercup. And don't laugh, but I heard the word Flintstones. Um, it's weird that she shows me trees and then dust blowing. Gives me the number one, but I'm wondering if it's in one hour or belongs with another number. Or maybe between one and two hours was, was the feeling of it. I definitely want to go up the mountains to where I think this may interconnect with Mackenzie is going to come in. Because I think some of her stuff did come in Mackenzie's. I don't want to exit off to the right of the road. Something with sands in the name I hear. The letter H. The number 53. Don't laugh, but I heard teleport. Um, I got cheerful, sweet nature with her, but as the relationship got on, uh, she changed, become more withdrawn, scared to her, scared to herself, fearful. I get a reference of um, native cult culture for some reason, or something to do uh, with native. And I see bear. I hear the words hocus pocus. That's come up before, and I see. I get the song raindrops keep falling on my head. Not sure that could be, I guess, like in a mine reference as well, because of the dripping. I, I'm not sure if that's what she means, or if it was raining, or if that's a song that was saying. Um, I also get a reference to a knife and choking. This could be Erica, because I got kind of the same thing, or it could be her. It could be an interconnect. Also, maybe both, but things 
um, or whatever it feels psychopathic, what happened to her, brutal, lost control, frenzy, um, seeing a school, but I don't know why, reference to Cherokee, as also the reference to airplanes, so I don't know if, it's more like lights in the sky, like flying overhead, um, she says it's a mystery, but he thought about it, and I keep getting flashed a bear, and I hear dripping, how you hear dripping in a cave or a mine shaft, and I see, um, I see a, sa a cave with walls are shiny. I have seen this vision before when working on Sam. So I get a reference to B and I hear something with the willow on the end. I keep getting reference to Bear Lake from where we were looking up in McKenzie. So I believe Susan may interconnect with Ken McKenzie because of the area is very similar. I also see rainbow that interconnects a lot everywhere. Caves or a uh, mine shaft that is closer to Bear Lake or something with bear in it. Cherries again. Uh, it feels dark. I can hear the water dripping and keep getting that movie Dark Crystal. Um, sharp pain in my left shoulder blade. I was having at the end of this reading. Later I found out that he had surgery on his shoulder uh, after his wife went missing. So I do think that he blocks on how to find her, but I'm going to get around that the best that I can. I have a strong team, and I'm going to break through and try my hardest. Um, even if I have to connect to her kids, I'm going to find a way to hold him back. So this may take a little bit, but this was the very first reading that we got. We know it's not a whole lot, but from what I understand now, it is pretty accurate. So um, thank you for liking, subscribing. If this makes sense to you, please let us know. Gentlehearttreadings at hotmail.com, the psychic sleuth at oh yeah, the psychic sleuth at gmail.com. You can also join the group. We talk about things in there, have lots of things in there. Um, uh, the psychic sleuth on Facebook. Thank you very much. See you guys next time.